This short video will introduce you to Validator for Identity Manager. Anyone who has written an Identity Manager driver will agree that a big challenge we face is validating that the IDM drivers will do what they're designed to do. Then even more of a challenge is revalidating the drivers over and over again every time a change is made. A lot of time is spent using iManager or your favorite LDAP browser, setting attributes in the IDV that trigger driver events, then checking and double-checking attributes to make sure the driver handled the events correctly. Validator helps to automate the process of creating and modifying data, then validating the results. Now some may argue that it takes time to create the test. You're correct. Writing tests does take time but not much more than about twice as long as it would take to open up iManager and create a user, then check the results in the target system. But if you calculate the time spent in iManager testing and retesting the driver, creating users, modifying users, deleting users, checking the target system, and doing that over and over again, it can spin out of control pretty quickly. You may need to repeat your manual tests dozens of times over the development cycle of the driver. How much time does that take? But if you invest a little time up front and create tests, Validator does those repetitive tasks for you. So let's get started by installing and running Validator for Identity Manager. So you download the Validator archive for your platform, either Windows, Linux, or Mac, from download.novell.com. And then we just expand the archive. Then you run the batch file or shell script to start the validator server. And once the validator server loads, it shows you the URL that you need to go to in your browser to access validator. On the main page, it outlines how to get started with some very simple steps. This screen also has a link to Bugzilla if you want to enter a bug or enhancement request. And there's a link to a Google Doc user's manual as well. To get back to this page at any time, click the question mark icon. The tabs at the top allow you to access all test suites. Now test suites are simply files containing a collection of tests. The test tab displays each test within a test suite, and the results tab shows the log of the last test run. Let's create a new test suite. For this demonstration, we want to test an AD driver, which provisions data between IDV and an AD domain. So we'll call this IDV to AD tests. We'll also give it the same descriptive name. Now, since we have two systems to connect to, EDER and AD, we'll create a connection for each. So just click the plus sign under Connections. Give the first connection the name IDV. We'll select the eDirectory connector type. And then we'll enter the connectivity information. The host will be eDir host. And since we want to use SSL, we'll set the port to 636 and check the use SSL box. Validator will auto import the SSL certificate for you to make it very easy. The proxy user is just the user that we'll use to log in to perform all operations. So we'll put in a, our admin user here, cn equals admin, o equals system, and the password. It's secret. Let's test this connection to be sure we uh, entered everything correctly. Now let's create the AD connection. So new connection, we'll call it AD. Select AD as the connection type. The host, AD host. And the proxy user. Now let's test all connections by clicking the checkbox on the connection bar and click Run. Before we create tests, let's quickly examine what types of connectors are available in Validator. We can interface with eDirectory, uh, Active Directory, LDAP, various databases, text files, or to an HTTP data source such as a REST or a SOAP server, or execute a command or script at the OS level. For now, let's just continue with our eater to AD example. We'll delete the empty connector we just created just to keep things clean. We're ready to create some tests. 
So let's click on the Test tab, and now click on the plus sign to create a new test. Let's call it Create User Object. So as you can see, a test consists of three parts. Setup are actions that set the stage by making sure all the props are in place. Test is pulling the trigger and making sure that the results are good. And then cleanup are the actions that clean up the stage. A typical best practice is to make each test stand by itself. We don't want one test to rely on another test, so we can run any one of them independently. For our create user setup, we want to make sure that the user object doesn't exist both in IDV and in AD. So let's add a new action. We'll select the IDV connection, delete objects, and we'll give it a description, uh, delete object in Eater, and specify the full LDAP DN, CN equals user1, OU equal users, O equals data, and we'll do the same thing for the AD connection. Add a new action, we'll select the AD connection, delete objects, and the description delete object in AD. And to keep things simple, we'll just use the same DN as we did with eDirectory. We'll just copy from the eDir test and paste in AD. All right, now we know we're clean. Let's create the user in IDV in the test section. So we click the plus icon. We'll select IDV. The action is create object. And we'll give it a good name, create user in eater. We'll copy in the DN. Then we set the attributes. So we'll start out with object class as user. And just to show how to add aux classes, we'll add inet org person. Although in this case, just adding user would have been sufficient. And now we move on to the surname, test user, and given name of test. For the next action, we'll check to be sure the AD driver created the user in AD. So we'll choose the AD connection. Now in validator, when we test a condition, it's called an assert. So we choose assert object exists and specify the DN. Finally, in the cleanup section, we'll clean it all up. And we do this by copying both actions from setup to cleanup. We'll check both setup actions and click copy. Then we'll paste them into cleanup and remove the word copy from both of them. And once we have all actions defined for our test, I always like to collapse them so I get a nice overview of what the test is trying to accomplish, thus the importance of creating descriptive names. Now let's run the test. So we'll click the test and run. We see the results of the test in the main window. We can also look at the details in the results tab. Well, those are the basics of Validator for Identity Manager. Let's look at some other neat features. Let's say you have two tests that are similar. You can make a copy of a test by checking the box and click Copy. You can arrange the order of a test by clicking and dragging it anywhere in the test list. When you're editing a test, you can also click and drag actions within a test category to rearrange them. If you want to temporarily disable an action, click the green check mark. Click the red circle to re-enable the action. If you want to look at all details of a test section, you can expand all actions at once with the Expand All icon. To collapse all actions, click the Collapse All icon. Well, let's see Validator in action by running a full suite of tests in a real environment. This test suite consists of dozens of tests and comprising hundreds of actions. These tests were created during the development of the driver and capture all requirements. Now with a few clicks, 
the entire driver is validated. Thank you for watching. You can download Validator for Identity Manager at download.novell.com.